Doctor, let's just start about start talking about essential fatty acids. Can you explain what they are and what their function is in the body? Yeah, it's a rather difficult thing to explain, <laughs> but, but uh, there are something in our food that is essential fatty acids. Uh, a strange thing because fatty acids are part of lipids that we eat. And we, we eat um, far too much fat, actually, yeah. but we eat 100 grams or more of fat which consists of triglycerides, which are three fatty acids stuck in a glycerin mo molecule. Mm -hmm. And these fatty acids are used for energy, either burning them directly or, as many of us, and especially you do in America, store them in fat deposits and get heavier mm -hmm. and heavier. But aside from being fuel and fuel deposits, some of the fatty acids have essential function in the body. And the body can make fatty acids the, the body doesn't need to do so because we eat a lot of fat. Mm. But the body can make fatty acids, but it cannot make these essential fatty acids that are necessary for a lot of things in our body. For example, there are essential parts in the cell membranes. Every cell has a double layer of fat, the fatty acids packed side by side to separate the cell interior from the cell exterior. Mm. But some of these fatty acids, as I said, are essential, meaning that they have essential functions in our body and you cannot make them yourself. You have to take them in, eat them. Mm -hmm. And these essential fatty acids are, by chemical nature, separated in two families. We call it the omega-6 family and the omega-3 family. They are two different families and you cannot make one to the other in your body, you have to have both of them. Mm -hmm. But the essential thing is that until we, way back in 1970s, introduced the concept of the omega-3 fatty acids, medicine, nutrition only focused on the omega-6 side, the polyunsaturated fatty acids found in vegetable oil, corn oil, mm -hmm. sunflower seed oil, and so on and so on. Uh, and uh, so we have a lot of that in our food. But the other essential family, the omega-3 family, is found mostly in seafood. They are made in the phytoplankton in the sea and eaten by small things and, and then fish and then seals mm -hmm. and then uh, fish and human. That's the way we get them into our body. You don't fa find them in vegetables or okay. in, the, in, in farm products. Mm -hmm. They are only from marine sources. And both of them, as I said, are essential because they are part of cell membranes, they are part of our brain, our eye, and then they can give rise to formation of hormone-like substances that regulates inflammation, blood clotting, and you name it. Are there symptoms or conditions that might suggest that we're not getting enough? Yeah, that's, that's very difficult because it's not like when you get an, an ulcer in your stomach, you get pain in your stomach or mm -hmm. something. It, it's, it influences general health. And uh, it's, it's not that easy to, to just point out a, a symptom that say you sure. have deficiency of, of uh, essential fatty acid. But I can add that we do not have deficiencies in omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids because we eat 10 or 20 grams a day in mm. our food and pour it in our salad dressing or whatever. So we get mm -hmm. enough of that. Whereas at the contrary, the omega-3 family, I would say we have a nutrition deficiency. And that might give rise to many of the symptoms. We have an increased tendency to blood clotting, an increased tendency to inflammatory disorders, mm -hmm. Uh, not so smart brain-wise and so on and so on, but you cannot pick out a, one single symptom and say, oh, this guy has omega-3 mm -hmm. polyunsaturated fatty acid deficiency. You can only say that if you add them to your diet in some way as a fish food or as a supplement, you, you improve uh, your general health conditions in many different aspects. Mm -hmm.